Hey guys, it's me, Panzo6, and today I wanted to show you guys some gameplay from Halo 5 because I have not talked about Halo 5 since it came out, and quite frankly, I kind of forgot all about it. Um, and that's not a bad thing, because Halo 5 was definitely a good game uh, by its own merits. Um, it definitely came out um, after, you know, the bad taste the Master Chief Collection left us. It definitely came out to critical acclaim. Um, and some of the biggest worries as the microtransactions, um, the whole MLG focus, <laughs> that kind of did scare me a little bit. But now that the game is out and a few months later, you know, it seems a whole lot better. It seems like Halo, you know, it broke the mold, it became, it made itself relevant again. Um, you know, it's fun. It's definitely fun. And there's a lot of stuff to do. Uh, especially with Forge mode, the community stuff, um, they're getting ready, they had the firefight beta, which I missed out on, and, uh, the stuff you're seeing in the background is this mode, I think it's called Fiesta, but it's a blast, it really is a blast, you start out with, you know, different guns, um, every time you die, you respawn with something different, now, I don't know how it completely works, I don't know if you have to do so well, and, spawn with bigger guns, but I'm thinking it's just the luck of the draw. It uh, kind of reminds me of Gun Game from Counter-Strike. Um, but it's definitely fun, definitely fun. Um, it's taken me a while to get used to playing Halo again, especially with all the new um, s stuff they added, especially sprints, uh, the thing where you can do the pound on the ground, uh, <laughs> the booster packs and whatnot. Um, but it, those abilities don't really take away from the game itself. If you played the game and you played Halo all the way from the beginning, you're going to feel comfortable with it. I mean, it doesn't feel much different from any other Halo game. And that's what I find really surprising about it is that, you know, they modernized it um, enough to make it still play like Halo, and that's, that's a good thing. Now... My biggest thing is whenever I play a Halo game, I normally don't really mess with the multiplayer that much. Now, if you were to ask me that question about seven years ago or more, I would have told you, yes, I love Halo multiplayer and I play it almost every day. Now, the funny thing is whenever, you know, it was in college a few years ago, we used to take uh, TVs and our Xbox uh, 360s all the way to my friend's house. We'd plug up like four or five TVs and have big LAN parties. Uh, just playing Halo 2 or Halo 3, um, and we kind of dropped out of that, but when, once you get older, it's kind of really hard to, you know, <laughs> be able to do those things anymore. So we, we used to have the Halo parties, um, whenever Halo would launch, we'd be in line waiting at GameStop for it to come out, we'd be drinking the Mountain Dew Game Fuel. I don't know if you guys remember this. It's like, I, I think they came out with it every year since then, but it's Mountain Dew, but worse for you. And I used to buy cases and cases and cases of this shit, and, you know, I was just breathe drinking it like a whole 12-pack in a day. Uh, like, one of our biggest game nights um, was, I think it was right when Halo 3 came out. Um, we went over to my friend's house. And this is when Hot and Ready's from Little Caesars became a big thing. Now, we got Hot and Ready pizzas and cases of Game Fuel. So we stayed up all night playing Halo, drinking this Game Fuel stuff. And we, you know, I'm sure we added alcohol in there somehow. But just imagine waking up after drinking maybe a whole case of game fuel, eating, you know, nothing but <laughs> nasty hot and ready pizza for, I don't know, maybe 12 hours, and waking up, like, you've, we probably fell asleep at like 6 o'clock in the morning, and waking up uh, maybe around noon, we was, we didn't feel too well, we didn't, it was uh, definitely bad for, for us, but, you know, back then I didn't care, but now I kind of regret it because I'm a fat ass. And my health is terrible. But that's the thing. Halo has always been a um, couch co-op, friends get together. Um, that's because I, I didn't have the chance whenever I was younger. You know, before this, it was uh, 
Goldeneye. The only chances I got to play Goldeneye was my cousin, which he had a Nintendo 64 in Goldeneye, and I didn't get to do that that much. And uh, Halo was really my first big foray into console gaming. That's what got me going and going. Now, prior to that, I still had consoles. I still played games, but not as much. I was more focused into music. I was in a rock band. And, um, I was in the marching band, had a lot of crazy school activities. I worked um, at a grocery store, and it wasn't until, like, uh, I graduated when I got a full, full thing. I, I just bought console, all the consoles, and, you know, I've been playing ever since. And, but, I, like I said, I've been playing games since I was a kid, like, like three or something. So I love video games. Um, <laughs> definitely have a enough experience on it. I know that sounds really sad thinking about it. It's like you're a 28-year-old man talking about Halo. I sound like Uncle Pedro from um, Napoleon Dynamite. Oh uh, man, I bet you I can throw that pigskin clear across that mountain. That's how I felt like <laughs> when I was younger. I bet you I can take on anybody on Halo, any multiplayer game. I, and you know, maybe I should, maybe I could have. But anyways, um, <laughs> it's, it's just one of those things I really, really enjoyed, and playing Halo 5 today made me look back on that, and um, I, it's just really fun, it's just really, really fun, and um, you know, I, I didn't really hear the poisonous uh, <laughs> uh, shit talk that, you know, Xbox Live and Halo's um, accustomed to. But I, I felt like I was playing a game that I played seven years ago. Now, like I said, I still play these games. I just I played through all the games on the Master Chief Collection. I've beat these games so many times. And it's just really nice to play. Every time a Halo game comes out, I'm going to be spending my time on it. And th this one was no different. Now, I started the campaign on Hardcore, I believe. Um, I haven't started in Legendary yet, and the things I can say about the campaign as a whole is yeah, it's short, yeah it's it's a sequel that's basically trying to push its way into the next big thing, so like I don't want to give any spoilers of the game, but I'm kind of shocked at how they approached it, because something happens, and so and so from the past does something something, and bad guy so yeah, you guys can figure that out yourself. Um, and there was some deceptive marketing with this game. Everybody was thinking Spartan Lock and Master Chief are going to have this big knockout, drag out fight. It's going to be epic and somebody's going to die. Uh, or maybe they could do some type of you choose who dies. And that didn't really happen. Um, yeah, there's a part in the game where the two meet and there's a little scuffle, but nothing really, really uh, materializes past that. Um, but I'm thinking, you know, 343 probably did that on purpose. Uh, but I think the re like them doing that kind of did hurt the game just a tiny bit, just a tiny bit. Um, but I was still fine with it. I, I really liked the game. I liked the story. I think 343 Studios um, are pretty good storytellers for the most part. Compared to what Bungie used to have, Halo was kind of bare bones. You, you, you know, the best way to get a hold of the story was you know reading the books or you know the comics, watching the shows. Um, now, previous Halo games, you kind of, you got a little bit of it, but you know Halo has a, such a big expansive universe, kind of similar to how Star Wars did back in the day, but I think 343 is trying, they're trying to fit, they're trying to fix that. Halo 4 had, in my opinion, one of the best campaigns of the whole series, um, I and I hold that next to even number 3. Number 3 was really good, um, and number 1 as well. Number 2, meh, meh, meh. And one of my personal favorites is ODST. ODST was really good too. It's quite different. Um, it felt it felt it felt like Halo, but it's you know bare bones Halo, no no shields or anything like that, um, and you had fall damage. Uh, but Halo Five, like I said, it's a different kind of monster altogether. 
it seems like the community is having a lot of fun with Forge. Uh, they're getting ready to bring Firefight back, and I believe they just had the um, <coughs> beta on that. Now, one thing you're going to notice as well, if you recently played the Doom beta, you're going to notice a lot of similarities to this game's multiplayer and Doom's multiplayer. Well, one of the reasons why is certain affinity is working on it, and these are the guys who've been working on Halo 2, Call of Duty, um, since I think number two came out. I think they brought some maps out originally near uh, Halo 2's cycle, um, and I think they've been working on this series ever since. Uh, but you'll definitely notice um, Doom, the new Doom game, the multiplayer anyways, plays very similar to Halo, except you know you don't have the can't reload your guns, and you, you can pick up other guns, I believe, but um, everything looks about the same. Even the character models kind of look like Halo's uh, Spartan suits. And that's, I'm not trying to say that's a bad thing, but um, Doom, kind of like the multiplayer itself, is having a bit of an identity crisis. Um, but if you get a chance, and you haven't played Halo 5 or the Master Chief Collection, I would highly recommend picking them up. Uh, get caught up just story-wise. It's fun. Halo Wars 2 is coming out. And I love Halo Wars. Halo Wars was great. Um, it was probably the best console RTS ever made. Um, and I don't play RTS games very much. I used to play um, Age of Empires and a little bit of StarCraft, but not really. Um, but I really enjoyed it. Um, but you can kind of tell. I, 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 I am a console gamer. And I also play PC games, um, but I don't put myself at any of those banners. You know, all I do, I call myself a gamer. I own all the systems, and I play games on all of them. Uh, good, another good thing, too, is Halo definitely runs really well. Halo 5 runs really, really well. Um, not much in terms of frame rate issues. Uh, it runs about 60 frames per second, which that's what everybody's aiming for. Um, now, it has a, a um, its resolution's kind of weird, uh, the way they have it working out. It's, um, it scales up to, uh, I believe it's your internet. Um, I, I forget how they put it. I, I think it's ran by the cloud, I'm pretty sure, but um, everything's pretty scalable, so uh, it definitely runs well. Now, I'm trying to feel, I, I'm running out of things to say, so I might as well stop while I'm ahead. Um, but guys, uh, I just wanted to share with you Halo 5. Um, I hope you guys like it, and be sure to hit like and subscribe. Now, while I'm on here, I want to go ahead and thank Boogie2988, as well as some of his fans and all the people that have supported Bits and Pieces. Now, if you're not familiar with Bits and Pieces, Bits and Pieces is a project that I'm currently working on. Um, and I'm really, really passionate about. Um, now, I always wanted to open open some kind of store, and I've always wanted to be able to make my mark in the gaming industry. And how I plan to do that is opening up a game store that also does card games, video games, board games, all kinds of little events, as well as some charities. Now, the cool thing about Bits and Pieces is, you know, we bring all these people together. Now, it doesn't matter, you know, what kind of race, sexual orientation, religion, um, none of that stuff matters when you come here. Everybody is a family. And <laughs> one thing we want to help out is people that suffer from things like abuse, depression, anxiety, thoughts of suicide, and hunger. I, I definitely want to be able to help everybody. I know exactly how it feels to be so low that you want to pretty much leave this world, and I, I and I'm so so passionate about it. And I, sorry, I bring it up a lot. I bring it a lot, up a whole lot. And you know, we hit a hundred and I think a hundred and ten dollars the other day on our GoFundMe page. But you can check this out. You do not, you do not have to. Um, donate, but if you would, please share this with your friends, your family, um, anyone who would be interested. And if you know somebody that's suffering from 
any type of anxiety disorders or just need somebody to talk to them, you should to give them to talk to. Talk to them. The best thing to do at any uh, thing like that is talk to somebody. Um, be be in their lives. Do good. As gamers, I think we're the most passionate group of human beings on this planet. And the reason I say that is we care for each other. Um, now, yeah, there's poison in our community just like any other, but for the most part, gamers are really, really awesome at helping each other out. And that's what I'm hoping Bits and Pieces does. So, Bits and Pieces, we're all different, and the subtitle come together. We'd make one up. But guys, thank you so much again. And go to www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces and check that out. And like I said, be sure to like and subscribe. And I love you.
Grab the light rifle! Shields are full. Ten kills to win. Great saw kill. <laughs> 